Right, I'm with Ian Sully. FA Cup game against Dulwich at Dulwich's ground. And I've got to say, from what I witnessed Monday to what I witnessed today here at Dulwich, it's total contrast. You've got to be very happy with your squad today. Yeah, no, we, we, had, a, we had a game plan uh, before we went in, obviously. Uh, we, had, we had a couple of injuries that uh, wasn't able to play, but we had a game plan that we were going to be a little bit cautious first half against the wind. Uh, yeah, it was going to be a bit tricky. And I think as long as we stay within the tie, you know, one goal down the half, one goal is, is not bad, but the wind played a big part first half. And we sort of struggled to get out of it. So, um, you know, second half, we were a bit more gun ho, got more flats forward. Uh, I think it worked. We just a bit, a bit disappointed that you know, we, we did win the game, you know, we sort of got ourselves in front. I mean, in all fairness, they scored two very, very good goals. Can't really complain about that. But, you know, we're, 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 we're happy with how the lads um, applied themselves today. You know, we've, we've been quite strong with them on Thursday and the team sort of before the game. But they've got to show a bit of passion, you know. And, uh, I think first half, I think some supporters were a bit frustrated because the game plan we have to stay in the game. Um, the second half, they showed a lot of grit and determination. Uh, and they, they exhausted in there, you know, we worked their socks off. And, uh, you know, on a different day, we could have come out 2 on winners. But, um, yeah, we, we, we're happy with uh, how they play second half. It's a bit of a high and low feeling, like you mentioned. Like you know, with about I think it was 84th minute, we were two one up. You almost think, oh, God, can we hold on? Can we hold on? And there's me thinking, I'm happy with a draw. Let's bring them back to our place at the Grove on Tuesday night. And look, we got we got the second um, bite of the cherry, let's say. But I, all, I always worry, and I'll be interested to see your thoughts on that. You know, when the lower team gets that and, and works so hard away, and then comes at home. Do, that second bite, you know, do you know? Do you think the troops can see it through? Well, I think we can. I think you know we, we had a little conversation after, and I think you know we said that that's the minimum requirement. Set their standards. No, no, it's there. They can do it. They just need to do it more often. Than, you know, every single game. So you know, the, the I don't know if it's a slightly new group. The players get to know each other, but. The minimal we expect, and as, as um, management staff and supporters, is 100% effort. You know, if, they, if we've got that, we have got the players that can cause these problems. So, um, you know, it was it's just a little bit frustrating. Like I say, we, we're in front late on. You, know, you almost sort of feel that you know the job is almost done, and then you get a little bit of action down the left-hand side. The guys cut in and smash it in the top corner. So, you know, it's um, we 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 look at that from a defensive point of view, but. I think, I think the game plan today definitely worked. I think we frustrated them first half, even though they did get themselves in front. But, um, you know, it's the it's, uh, second half of the game plan that paid off. And, and, you know, we just got a bit gutted. And the boys are gutted that they didn't win, which is, which is a good thing. You know, they're, they're devastated that they didn't get out of the line. It shows that they, they are winners. You know, we had a bad weekend where we were, they were too passive. I think we were much, much better today. It's maybe a bit of a stepping stone, you know. I think um, there's nothing they should be afraid of that way. You know, they've just got to make sure they bring it to the party every single week. The pleasing thing is, like, from 2 1 up, you know, in the last six minutes, basically, and then conceding that second goal, which was a powerful goal in the top corner. I don't think Sonny had a, 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 any chance of getting to that. But the facts are, most teams might have wilted, but we saw it out reasonably well, I felt. Yeah, we, we, we were sort of struggling a little bit, you know, personnel. Um, obviously, obviously, Kelvin, uh, Kelvin is uh, injured, we haven't got a left back. Uh, he hopefully will be back uh, for the game on Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, you know, so we had to sort of put uh, Tom in there, who's naturally a right back. Uh, he done okay today. Uh, and then uh, he was struggling fitness wise, and Lamar came in, so uh, and played left back. So we've had to sort of. Um, manage the team in-house to sort of cover the positions and it's, it's not an ideal situation but yeah we've currently only got a squad of sort of 20 uh, we've got a lot of injuries so these lads are returning next week which is good so that'll that'll sort of really consolidate where we are we've, we've you know, played well today we've worked on the uh, first half i think on the ball we were better second half but there's more to come you know, we've got boys coming back into the squad next week and you know, hopefully Ollie to be involved uh, matty will be involved uh, kelvin thinks we're going to play saturday so once we get these two or three four boys back into the squad and fit then we get this competition for places and uh, the, the level goes up so um, yeah it, it's still very very early uh, we've done okay we could have done better with the weekend especially but it, it, there's definitely something in there that um, excites me and uh, I know that they can do it so they just have to make sure that they're that themselves every single game if they do that every single game we will win that 10 games 
what was really good to see Cookie and uh, Kenny Beanie behind the scenes talking to the boys in the warm up and that which is really nice to see two big senior players there it was good to see Tom Cadner on the pitch which settled us in the midfield area and what I've got to say is anyway see say to and you were right to do what you've done there good well done Ian to pick up on that because I mean that that right winger was dangerous and Tom was running out of gas I don't know if he's had too much uh, play of recent times for him to come into this FA Cup game and you know it's a tough one for him but uh, but Anua had to go in there and do a job and that's what I show it shows a bit of team spirit from what I can see yeah, well, we, we, we put the message out about, um, you know, we we're expecting all the players to be here today. And I think, uh, you know, I'm really, really pleased that the senior lads turned up. You know, Kenny took part of the first first part of the warm-up. Um, he had a voice in the change room as well at half-time. You know, he said his piece, and it's good to see Ollie that's individually going to different players. Because they are, they are, and some of them guys are a young team, you know, they need that sort of, uh, that comfort that there's a senior player in there that's going to help them. So it's important that they continue to do that. You know, it's going to be a big part of our season is the senior lads helping the younger guys out. They're going to need a bit of guidance. Um, sometimes they're going to need to be uh, shouted at, you know, naturally, but sometimes they might need an arm around them. I think the boys we have, even though it's a youngish uh, new squad, I think we have a good balance when these guys are around. Um, it's, it's a good, good positive change. You know, so. Right, I've got Nora and Butler here. Um, what a fantastic performance today, particularly on the back of Monday's game at Westfield. Can you give me your thoughts? As, as boys on the back of Monday, <laughs> you know what I mean, did, did you feel that they wanted to prove something to our fans today on the back of the weekend's poor results? Yeah, of course, we've spoken amongst ourselves. Um, obviously, just in ourselves, we know that things have to be better, but we know our fans, they come and support us every week and we can't, they spend their money and their own time to come and show us support, so we have to do it for them also. And it's really interesting as a player. I mean, you're one of our bigger players. Um, yeah. I've got to say, with Cookie being out, it's not as if we're blessed with big, strong, powerful boys. Yeah. But when the boys look at that team, and they are big and powerful, Dulwich, and they do look, play in a direct style, were, were, were anyone concerned about the physicalities before the game? Um, not really. I think we knew coming into it they were the bigger side. But I think we all back each other. We all... We've all got support and we know like in this game it's like it's men's football. We can't shy away from anything. If it's there to be one, we need to go through it. So. Were you personally two one up with six minutes on the clock? What was your thoughts at that point? Did you think that you had enough about you to see it through? Yeah. That was it, I was happy, but um as it goes, just a little glimpse of talent got them the draw of the equalizer, but Normally, the lower team only gets one bite at the cherry. We get a second bite at the Grove, and obviously, I'll put a big shout out to get as many fans down there on Tuesday. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a fair old Dulwich uh, following coming down to our ground. They've been down there a few years. I won't mention the wall, but I've just done it. <laughs> we ain't got a wall no more, Dulwich fans, by the way. Um, do, you, do the boys think they're a bit more confident now having to play Dulwich maybe than before the game and on the back of those two poor performances? Yeah, I the quality. Like, I know they're a higher team, but I feel like Leverhead especially, that individual quality is below. So I think I'm just seeing today, I think, I thought you were immense today at centre back with George there. Well done, and uh, hopefully you just carry it through for Tuesday night. We know it's a tough gig at home to Dulwich, step three, but I'll just give another shout out with you. We need as many supporters down there to get behind. We heard them singing. Did you hear them singing, by the way? They're like that. They can be that way. You lot just give them that performance, and they will start singing and supporting you. Thanks, Nora Butler. Thank you.